managing welfare and antimicrobial resistance issues in treating foot and mouth disease lesions. Greetings, my name's Peter Windsor. I'm a Professor Emeritus in the University of Sydney Veterinary School and with my colleague, Dr. Cecil Quincy from Laos, the Department of Livestock and Fisheries, and our team, we present a case report of the application of a product called trisulfan, which was developed for pain relief during adversive animal husbandry procedures. And we applied this in foot and mouth disease during an outbreak last year involving 136 cattle and buffalo. Impressive results. The farmers really liked it and it presents us with a new opportunity to treat foot and mouth disease without the use of antibiotics. FMD had been occurring regularly in the Bungpubung and adjacent provinces in 2018-19. 136 of 238 large ruminants were affected. They displayed typical lesions in the mouth, nose and feet. The product was readily sprayed onto these lesions. This is done with an applicator that delivers one mil per lesion of product. It also allows delivery of product to feet lesions safely. The topical anaesthetics in the product relieve pain immediately. There was an immediate change in demeanour as the animals became quiet and less stressed. This is a major contrast to the demeanour of the animals prior to treatment, where they displayed symptoms of pain and considerable stress noted by the owners. This resulted in all animals being presented on the day and the Lao Veterinary Registration Authority registering this product for use in FMD in Laos. The history of FMD in Southeast Asia as regular incursions due to transboundary movement of animals and product from the increasing demand for meat in the region. Of importance is finding ways to motivate farmers to adopt biosecurity. Another issue is the cost of FMD treatment. Use of antibiotics for foot and mouth disease has a significant negative impact on farmer households. Recent work in Africa shows that this product can be less expensive and is more effective in hastening the healing of lesions. But importantly, it contains no antibiotics, so lessens antimicrobial residue risk. It remains to be seen whether this product will enhance the willingness of farmers to report FMD outbreaks, so improving disease surveillance. However, our preliminary conclusions from these early trial in Laos and uh, current trials in Africa and other parts of Asia suggest that this product has a lot of promise in improving the welfare of the animals reducing antimicrobial risk and lessening the cost of treatment of animals uh, with foot and mouth disease, one of the most important diseases of livestock globally.